What's up guys, how are we going? Today we're taking a break from the E36 and we're going to do something a little bit different. So I've got my friend Chunga here, he's the president of the Vic Drift Club here in Melbourne. Uh, runs all the drift events and stuff. His, he's got a 180 with an RB25 in it, which is currently off the road and he still wants to drive. So he's got a K70 with a 4K in it that makes approximately 32 kilowatts. He used to make 32 kilowatts. Probably doesn't even make that anymore. I've thrashed it for two years. So it could be... It might even be less than that. So what's, what's 32 kilowatts about? Let's uh, not change lanes into this person. <laughs> Take him out. Take him out. So it's probably about what, 45, 50 horsepower? 32 kilowatts to horsepower is 42.9. So it makes 40, approximately 42.9 horsepower for you Americans or New Zealanders or whoever out there. Um, so we've decided we're going to put a turbo on it. So for anyone that doesn't know, a K70 Toyota Corolla has a 4K carbureted 1.3 litre engine in it. Um, so it's a little bit different in terms of the way that you have to turbo it. But we're just going to go all out. We've already figured it out how we're going to do it. We've got a T25 from a CA18 out of an S13 um, that we're going to put on it. So today we'll be making manifold, putting turbo on, running the oil lines, running the intercooler lines, starting it up all in one day. I just love to turbo everything and anything. I've been looking at my lawnmower at home lately, just picturing a turbo on the side of that, but we'll Let's leave that for another day. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm excited. Chunga's excited. Woo! We're back at the factory. I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour before we get started on this build. The boys are here. Uh, so we've got Pinky's 180 here. This thing's freaking awesome. Obviously it's got a couple of battle scars. Chunga's 180 sitting here, it's RB25. And then he's got an S13 vert up here. But this car is the car that we're here to turbo. Suss it. So at the moment, this is how it looks. He's running, making about 34 kilowatts at the wheels. We're going to double that with the turbo. Triple. Triple, all right. So uh, we've got a stock intercooler from an S13. We've got a, st a stock T25 turbo from an S13 with a CA18 manifold. Um, amongst a couple of other various bits and pipes and pieces and we're going to turn this, that into a turbo setup for the 4K. So um, I'm personally ridiculously excited for this build. Yeah, it's a little bit of fab work. I've, I've already got it in my brain about how we're going to make it happen. So we're going to cut, we're going to cut the 4K exhaust manifold and we're going to mate it with the CA18 DET manifold and weld it together. Sounds crazy, but I think it's going to work. Turn the turbo around, it's going to be top mounted so people can see it. Make a top hat for the, um, for the carburetor, see how it handles boost. If it doesn't handle boost too well, we can enclose the carburetor at a later date. Matt's here to help us, slash just laugh at us and throw bottles at us. Throw bottles, drink beers. Another S13 slash 180, an FDRX7. This place is banging! <laughs> and that's how you uh, move a car. So we've already sorted out the oil send um, for the turbo. So that's coming right off the uh, oil filter housing down here and I've literally just got a fitting. There was a bolt here. Undone the bolt and we put a fitting in. Right here. And then we just run rubber oil line off that right up to where the turbo is going to sit over this side. Oil return, we're just going to drill into the sump as we always do. Drill and tap. That'll be that done. So really the hardest part is the turbo manifold. I'm just positioning the turbo, building the top hat for the carburetor, and the downpipe. And all those things aren't really that hard, so... Also we've got our gasless MIG Chinese welder that we're going to weld with, as I always weld everything with, $130 off eBay. So if you're thinking about doing this, don't be afraid, buy it, try it, make it happen. So first things first, we're going to get it up in the air, and we're going to pull the stock exhaust off. This is a luxury having a, uh, a hoist to work on the car. Um, so here's the performance exhaust. <laughs> Look how big it is. It's one inch. The size of my dick. Literally one inch. The length. Ah, uh, yep. I was going to say one inch. That's pretty thick. <laughs> one inch with a muffler. So that's the 30, 34th, I think, kilowatt. That's where it's yeah. coming from. So you. That's how you get the exhaust off. <laughs> So yeah, that's the exhaust. It is so small. Yeah, what is this thing? Alright, so we've got 
got the inlet slash exhaust manifold out. They're actually just one kind of part made it together on these engines. And as you can see, the engine is just, they're so tiny. So uh, now it's time to start. We're going to remove the fan shroud and stuff, and we're going to start actually creating this manifold. Probably shift this somewhere nice and tidy. It's going to be fantastic. So Maddie's separating the intake manifold from the exhaust manifold so that we can go ahead, suss it out, and see how we're going to build our turbo manifold. Uh, how much space we have, etc., etc. We'll build the top hat out of this thing. So we've got to cut this around. And Chinga is separating the turbo from the turbo manifold. Ah! No, so that we can rotate Ow. the turbo. But he's currently doing a really funny job of it. We have so much room for activities in here. Safety. Sweet as. All right, so we're uh, mocking up the turbo position at the moment. Um, so we're going to use the stock CA manifold. It's got to sit somewhere around here. So what we're going to do is just chop these flanges off because we don't need them. And we're going to run the, this, these extractors straight in and weld them to the, the, um, the manifold. It's going to be awesome, but it needs to be somewhere like here. I reckon, so if we position, sit this here on like a piece of wood or something. Tack it there. Where it needs to be. Then we can start mocking up these um, parts of the exhaust and running them to the runners. It should give us enough room, plenty of room for the downpipe down there as well. So that's where we're at at the moment. We've sussed out where we want the turbo to sit, so now we have to make some magic happen and now uh, weld some stuff Stick together. Stick my dick in it. So now we're just gonna make it happen. Magic, it's gonna work. No one has faith, but I do. Righto, weld her up. Tack her up. Tack her up. <laughs> Hawaiian extra pineapple. So much rust on these, that's why it's... Oh, my face. Yeah. My Tourette. They do look pretty cool. It's actually going better than expected to be honest. Should be able to kind of wrestle that in, there you go. Alright, we're lifting the uh, manifold off, it's still tacked in place. It's time to weld it up. Out of a hundred, how excited are you or how much do you think this is actually going to work? I'm mean, Look at these gaps, it's going to be sick. Let's do this. Good pen I get. Yeah. All right, the, the hardest part of turbo in the car is done. We've made the manifold. Look at it, it's a thing of beauty. Loves it. All sealed, good to go. So uh, we're gonna chuck it on the car, bolt it up with some new gaskets. New gaskets. New gaskets, yeah, mate. So let's just do a test fit quickly. Look at that. How good is it, right? How good is it? Let's see if it actually fits up with the... We might have to do a little bit of modifying quickly on this like you did before. That's it! Where's the turbo? Sit down a bit. She's one of those nuts. the turbo. There you go. Yeah. She's mint. Like this whole car's like rolling. Look at that. Beautiful. Happy days. That's how it sits there. Are you impressed? Very. Did you think that it would come out like this no. when you first saw us doing it? Are you excited? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks so cool though when you have it all like setting up properly. Yeah. It literally looks like it's supposed to be there. Alright, so Maddie's just bolting down the turbo manifold and the inlet manifold because they're together. No, it's actually the extractors into the turbo manifold. Correct. And the inlet manifold. Correct. To the carby. To the tuck, to the carby, to the turbo, to the dump pipe. So we're bolting this down for the last time. As you can see, it looks pretty tidy. The turbo sits right here. In fact, let's get the turbo and let's sit it there. Look at that. I should have bought one. Factory stock. Hey, Mint. <laughs> Mint. Perfect.
All line. Thanks, Thank Pinky. You. Thank you, Pinky. Come you straight off. It. Come straight now. off the uh, oil filter housing. We've got our top hat, which I have kindly cut and welded. So we've obviously got to cut all the excess off that. Cut all the excess off the top. Drill a hole for the top. And that, and then we need to uh, weld a pipe on the side, and there'll be an intake pipe that sits on the top of the carburetor. Probably hard for you guys to understand at the moment. That's how it basically will go with a hole on the top. This goes through the top, wing nut it down, goes to the turbo through the intercooler. So we're full, full steam ahead at the moment, and this is how she looks. It actually looks so good. Happy? Uh, we have sorted out the intercooler routing. Um, so this is the intercooler. Kind of sussing up. things out. So we're gonna take this part out of it. And go straight across. And we're just gonna go straight across, yeah. Under this one as well. Is, is, it, is that it? We're gonna weld this to this. I'll clean it up a bit. A little bit? Yeah. yeah wait, wait. Wow. So we are, we are going to take this to my friend's dyno. Can we please have some dyno predictions? Some power predictions. On what, 7 PSI? Yeah, 7 PSI. I can double it. 30 kilowatts is 60. All right. What do you reckon? I reckon it's good for 80. 80? Yeah, I'm going 75, 75 kilowatt. On seven pound? On seven pound, we may, we may or may not up the, the boost a little bit. Currently mounting the um, side mount intercooler. We may chuck a little fan, a fan on that at some point. I want to give you guys a bit of an update on where we're at. Done. We have conquered the 4K turbo setup. I don't know if you guys are as pumped as I am, but that is looks too good to be true, to be honest. <laughs> too true to be good. When we started this today, we had no idea that we could actually make this look this good. No, you had an idea. We I had, didn't. They, they had no faith. I was always a believer. I wanted to. I, you know, I did believe because I always believe in everything I do. But this just is. A, so we've got the top hat on the carburetor. Taddy pretty much put that together and made that look mad. We've still got to spray that, but we've got the S13 intercooler over here, away from the heat. We're probably going to put a wee thermo fan on that later on. We've got the T25 turbo top mounted so that everyone can see it. And it just looks really tidy. So we haven't done any of the clamps up just yet. We want to start it up first, just make sure everything's all good before we do any clamps up. And we haven't done the oil drain yet. We're going to, we're going to put a uh, catch pan underneath and we're gonna run the engine and make sure that it is actually putting oil through the turbo and draining out Yeah, this is just so cool much cooler than we could have imagined We still haven't done the electric fuel pump yet We still haven't done the rising rate fuel pressure rig yet and we haven't done the dump pipe But first we just want to make sure that it works and once we know it works we can fine-tune it so to speak <laughs> All right, we're gonna give it a go first start. We don't know if this battery has any life in it, so Turbo 4k Please, yeah. please don't backfire on my hand. I swear, yep. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, she's spooling. <laughs> All right, so we forgot to film it, but we just drilled and tapped the oil return into the sump. It's running up into the, the from the turbo. Just looks just like a bought one. It's just random stuff we found. It's this, I just want to remind you guys, we have not paid a dollar for this whole setup. Hey, this hey, I bought you a pie this morning. He bought me a pie. Yes. Now we're going to bring the car down, and we're going to start it for real, do the clamps up, and run it up to temperature. Mate, this thing is just... It's popping. Have you actually got that, Dad? We're going to start it up now. We'll just put new plugs in it. Uh, new plugs. We changed the carburetor over. We put a new seal in this carburetor, which is fantastic. That's how you want it to run, mate. Look at that. That is a mint. Running, Give me a five. It's still running rich as fuck, dude. Alright, we're gonna wrap it up for the night. Very happy with the progress. It runs, it doses, everything's good. It doesn't leak any fluids anymore. We started at what, 12 ish? Yep. And it's now 9.40. We've been, yeah, nine hours. Yep. Once we degrease the engine bay and, you know, polish everything up, it's gonna look great. Downpipe's done. 
We literally just need to do the exhaust in the morning, uh, fix the LCA that he bent that's not part of this project. <laughs> so that we can actually take it for a drive. But you can hear it, the, the boost is making it into the engine. It's fluttering, so we know that there's boost there. So it's instantly going to be faster than it was before. Could be the pipe on it. Oh, turbo's still spinning. Turbo's still spinning. What's up, guys? Day two of turboing uh, the K70 Corolla. And uh, my friend Moses is taking us to the factory in his beautiful turbo M40 E30. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Are you done? Here she is. Well, you're too excited. Yeah. yeah, boy. How good is it, eh? It looks wicked. First port of call. We're gonna weld this up because uh, there's a couple of leaks in our top hat that we made. Low. Yeah, you can hear them. Big leaks. Yep. He loves that. So we're gonna weld this up quickly, and then we're gonna start it up again. Make sure it's all running, sealed, flutters. And then we're gonna put it in the air. Chung is gonna fix the LCA while I go ahead and finish welding up the exhaust. I'm going to tidy a couple little things up like this vacuum line. So I've gone ahead and welded up the downpipe. Um, we're literally using scrap metal uh, for the whole build that we've done. Downpipe's done, meets up to an exhaust that he had laying around so that's done. Uh, we just need to bolt it up now. We've got a gasket for the downpipe. Uh, so let's have a look. And then. Yeah. So we're just finalising everything, we've looped a couple of vacuum lines that didn't need to be there, we've got rid of a whole bunch of bullshit, and we have uh, the boost line running off here, so to show us to the boost gauge that we're actually running boost. We revved it before and we saw five pounds of boost, so I'm getting a little bit excited. Look how good this thing looks, it's freaking amazing. It's a work of art. Alright guys, so we have the exhaust on, the whole setup is back together. Um, you can't even tell when the bonnet's shut that we've done anything. But uh, she runs and she looks phenomenal. Nice and quiet, seems to be kind of idling fine. Valve bounces all right, but now it's time to see whether it actually drives and whether it makes any kind of boost at all. Um, but really, it's just a success just to, to have it running, to be honest. All right, here we go. <laughs> My turn to drive. We'll just put a adjustable fuel pressure rig in it because it was not getting enough fuel up top, which was to be expected on the stock fuel system. Chung is going to hold the camera. Correct. Start it first, yeah. There's a little bit more fuel in me, sweet. Yeah, you can feel it, eh? Yeah. It wants to go. Yeah. That's fucking it's, sick. It's got no fuel, that's yeah. all. It's not pinging that as much not at all, really. <laughs> Alright, that's it. She's done, she's turbo. I think we did a freaking awesome job considering it's all done from random parts that we had around the workshop. And it actually goes awesome. Needs a little bit more fuel, it needs an electronic fuel pump and a rising rate fuel pressure regulator specifically for the carburetor. So uh, yeah, that's a success. Thanks for watching guys, we'll be doing more stuff in the E36 next week. Follow me on Instagram, and it's Mike Lake. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that, all that random shit. And we'll be building more cars for you guys. Just put turbos in everything. That's all we care about. And then where are we going to go to use these things? Vic Drift. Yeah. Add that Vic Drift. Add Vic Drift. Shameless plug. Peace.